I'd first like to start this review by giving a shout out to Nichibutsu for releasing unique shoot 'em ups for the Famicom instead of Star Force clone number 83 like Magmax. That being said, today's game Seacross is pretty damn dull. Originally released in 1984 in arcades as Sector Zone in Japan before being released in the West under Seacross and eventually that title again for the NES and Famicom port, even in Japan. At first glance, Seacross resembles the movie Tron a lot. You're on a motorbike and so are your adversaries, which you won't die if they knock into you, but instead bounce you back, which you can do to them as well to make them crash. You play as the blue guy on a paper airplane from Parodius who must rescue his friends just hanging out in this place I can't even describe. They're spinning coins, towers, and random skeletons of some rat creature? Is this the post-apocalyptic future? Seriously, what's going on here? According to the instruction booklet, this game is taking place on an alien planet involving some war between a bunch of gibberish names. Part 1 of the level focuses on you dealing with an onslaught of intruders by knocking them around on your bike, while Part 2 feels a little more closer to a shoot 'em up as your bike slows down and more stuff starts shooting at you. Nothing much else to say, it's pretty standard shoot 'em up stuff. I guess one thing left to mention is that you have an energy meter which you refill by collecting these flat things. I guess it's pretty cool that this shoot 'em up is at least different, but understandably different. Which brings me to the fact this game has a lot of things I wish better shoot 'em ups had. For one, if you die, there's a sweet checkpoint system that is consistent. You can get through a decent chunk of the level and return to the point where you died in almost no time. And a continue option by simply pressing A and start, bringing you to your last checkpoint. Why aren't all shoot 'em ups like this? I think I would like them a lot more if they were more generous like this game. But what's not generous is later on when you need to pass through a small corridor as Pac-Man shoots at you. I spent a good time in this game just trying to pass this. Just to find another corridor in no time. This isn't even challenging design, it's just annoying. Seacross has a lot of original positives, but not much in terms of substance. Still giving Nichibusu my thumbs up for originality, and considering their next game is yet another shoot 'em up, I'll be waiting to see if they get another thumbs up next time.